No. Snow is a thing. This is snow. We're snowshoeing. This poor jogger is not accustomed to such a big pack. This big boy. It's heavy. But it'll keep me warm. First, second day of spring. And the Adirondacks doing this thing. Ooh, a fuzzy tree. It's fuzzy, it's fun. So we're going. This is the East River Trail in the AMR. Got some mashed potato snow today. It's 40 degrees out. Put on the snowshoes and just not think about it. Cool rock formations throughout the, what is this, Lower Au Sable River Valley, Upper Au Sable? Is this upper or lower? Who knows? One of the Au Sables. No. East of the Must Branch? The lakes are upper now. There's Upper and Lower Au Sable Lake. This is the drainage of Lower Au Sable Lake. So maybe this is the East Branch, no, I don't know, you get the point. Anyway, it's sunny, the sun is nice. Sparkling water, crispy clean. Yep, time to climb. Climbing now on the way to Wolf Jaw Notch. If you ever see these rings around trees in winter, late winter especially, I wonder what they are. There's a little baby one. The trees warm up during the day in the sun, just a little bit warmer than the snow around them. That bark just, you know, sucks up the sunlight. So any day where the snow is melting, or maybe close to melting, right around that tree is just a little bit warmer. And especially later in the day, the tree starts to radiate off the heat it collected during the day. It's like a little heater pillar. And just a little bit is all it needs to melt the snow around it just a little bit faster. And then in the spring, that'll be the first spot where the snow goes away. It's a little fertile spot for the very first spring flowers. They get a little extra warmth, a little bit more earlier, dry ground and sun. And uh, yeah, it's a little just microbiome. Just the thing trees do to their little neighborhood. Those cliffs are big boys. The wolf jaws, the cliffs of the wolf jaws. Underrated, I think. And here's this sweet little notch that we're climbing up. It's real nice, one of my favorite trails. Ooh, shrooms. Up we go. Up, up. Okay, hi. Uh, approaching the lower wolf jaw summit. This is the final ascent. Nice conditions today. This smooth track on the sheet. Just rocks and mud and stuff in the summer. Got a nice pack here. Starting to get up. There's Upper Wolf Jaw. Oh, 
that icy ledge. I think that's where the trail goes up. That looks sketchy. But this is next here. This should work. In the winter when you're on top of a foot or two of snowpack, you really are higher up and your head gets up in the trees. Just been kind of getting a nice little face spa treatment of some nice spruce needles. It really is, I really don't mind it, these soft trees, because I've been in the prickly ones. The prickly ones are rough, but the soft ones, you just kind of melt through them. You just kind of get close with the forest. These ones are a little prickly here, but it is soft enough. You just kind of don't think about it. some fur up here. You can smell those. Orangey. Ooh, the sun's back out. That's nice. Oh hey. That's pretty. We are looking at Dix. We're looking due south. Dix has all the slides in the blank areas. The ridge line in front of it. That's nipple top on the right dial just to the right of the closer blank white area. And then Bear Den Mountain. And I'm pretty sure I have that right. That's probably Dial. Bear Den would be further left. Dial would be just in front of the slides of Dix to the left of the spot that's all lit up. Anyway, let's climb. You can hear the summit air that Breeze that's a little bracing, but just out of reach. Starting to open up there. Won't be too long. I feel like it's easy to miss that wolf jaws. You're on a pretty narrow ridge line. You can forget it because you're in trees. But if you look around you to the left and right, not much terrain. It just like disappears. It's even narrower up by the summit. Starting to feel the breeze now. I'll put my climbing bars away. That just pure white summit. Pristine. That is pretty. We just pop around a corner. We'll be pretty close to the summit here. Shall we take bets on if this is the last climb? There's always one more, huh? Famous last words, but I don't see much left to do up here. See some sky up there. Ooh, a little breezy. A little breezy. <laughs> There's more. Probably at least another 50 feet. I'm gonna take a break from carrying this camera. Hello, I'm back after a few minutes of filming in my pocket. Maybe you're nice and warm now. Had a little break. So, taking bets on if this is the final summit push. Here we 
go. Oh boy, this is tight. Whoa. This feels like a summit. I think this can be my bet right here that this would be the summit. I remember this tree. I think. Yep. There's the little summit ledge coming up. Okay. Direction sign. We are on Lower Wolf Jaw. Check it. Oh. White face in the distance, if you can see it. The large massifs of Cascade, Porter, and Big Slide. That's Algonquin. Marcy is kissing the clouds, it looks like it's inviting some snow. So here we go. Climbing Adirondacks in the winter. It's pretty nice and calm here actually. You can hear the wind down here among the trees a little bit. Just enough protection to make it pleasant. Glimpses of the Dix Range and so on through there. Okay, well, that's it for now. Yeah, see you around. So, guess what? The trail. Is here. I get to break trail for two miles. This will be fun. I kind of anticipated it might be the case. Also, it's just always hilarious how these signs are supposed to be at eye level, but in the winter they are very much not at eye level. Here we go. Obviously this would be easier if I put the camera away and use both poles, but yeah, it's fun with tracks. I think it's kind of cool how there's like this instinctual innate ability for humans and Seems like basically any animal, mammal at least, to follow paths and tracks and trails. You don't really think about it, you just feel it. Like, how do I know that this is it? I just know. Kinda cool. Anyway, we're off Lower Wolf Jaw now. Sun's out, it's all good. Good times. I've never been on this trail at all, so it'll be a bit of an adventure. Just kind of get to see it for the first time. And I'll come back in the summer and see what it actually looks like when I can see the ground. It'll be fun. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. I mean, whatever. I could just bushwhack a straight line down and it'd be fine. Here's a marker. Oh, this sign is sweet. Look at this metal marker. It's like in relief. Yeah, I'm a little bit off here. I'm either too far left or too far right. Gonna be a lot of that right now. If I don't bother to get out the GPS, which I could, but I've got loads of time. And this is real mellow. Just gonna get to know the woods for a while. Yeah, this feels better. I think this is it. You can play the game of how quickly can you spot the next trail marker. These are cool. If I can get them to stop shaking. Oop. Marker. Oh, this is a new style of the big gothic font. 
Ooh, this one's tricky. Which way do we go? Uh, this probably is the trail, this wet crap down here. Okay, this next segment looks pretty easy. I think it's just a straight shot, huh? So I checked the map and saw that it follows Deerbrook all the way down and stays strictly on the right bank of Deerbrook, which is an excellent navigational situation. Super easy, just stay right of the stream. So that is to our left. It's over there. I know it because I got off track and was on the wrong side of it. I don't know, maybe breaking trail like this on a trail that's almost never used anyway. I bet this would be a great kind of practice for bushwhacking style navigation. There is the official track that you can just look up in the GPS if you need and follow that. There are trail markers and they're spaced typically in the Adirondacks are spaced every double the distance of your sight line. So you get a little bit of practice and then a reassurance and then a little bit of practice. I'm betting this path is going to get a little more distinct like this as it gets lower elevation. But trail. New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. That boulder is covered very evenly with snow. It's just a nice, it's like a chocolate bonbon. But snow. This might get a little runnable for some definition of running. Let's see if I fall on my face. Twigs, twigs. Man. Sorry for the hair, everybody. Ooh. Got a loose snowshoe strap. Forgot that trail breaking can really yank on your bindings. I guess snow has a lot of inertia. And you've got a bunch of it around your foot. It's a nice grove. That's uh, I don't know if that's Hedgehog Mountain proper up there, but at least uh, some little side buddy of it. Oh, it's quiet here. saw that the lower parts of this trail gets up on this sweet ridge line and just follows the ridge line all the way for the rest of the descent. Oh, deer sleeps there. Deer tracks. Yeah, they've got a nice home here. Check this out. Look at that. The giant of the valley right there. Very handsome as always. Dick's peeking out over there. Round Mountain. I was there just a month ago. And that pointy knob between the tree branches is Noonmark. Noonmark is sweet too. Anyway, it's a great little ridge line. This is so nice. Pretty sure it goes, yeah, it goes this way. I don't want to commit to the descent because it was wrong. So, now I can just 
smooth sailing. So yeah, Deerbrook is down in there. That's what we were next to before. And we came from that notch up there. No, that's not a notch. It's not that dramatic, but the little saddle. <laughs> Look at this fun little wall up here. It's fun in the winter to be able to see the landscape more clearly around you. This is a little gnarly here. Not like hard, just funky. Getting back to the mashed potato snow I see. Other than little blips up like that, it is still going to be basically all down. Out. And on the map, it kind of goes along the ridge and then it pops down a steep thing and then down the ridge. So I think it's going to keep switching back and forth between different types of terrain and grades and foliage. Like you saw just in the last minute. Look at this. I mean, another great view just popping out right here. This is like the Brothers Trail on Big Slide, except a little more mellow and less eroded. Look at this. This is great. This is really solid. I like it. Okay, that's enough of that.